everybody, my name's Sarah and I'm from Derby County Community Trust. Today we're going to be looking at some nice healthy snacks that we can have at home. Um, they're all really easy to make and nice and healthy. So thanks for coming along today. Before we get started, like we do every week, really important, I've washed my hands outside but I'm just going to pop on my hand sanitizer so our hands are nice and clean. Give that a rub in as well. We are going to be using the pan today, so if you've got short sleeves that would be great or roll up your long sleeves and tie your hair back. So today we are going to be making some cherry popcorn cakes. Now these are amazing, but there is also lots and lots of different things that you can do with this. So if you're making this at home, I would recommend a, a nice heavy pan with a lid on it. So what I'm going to do is just pop the lid off here. I'm going to use my fry light because we are going to be making some popcorn for, first of all. So I'm just giving that a good spray and we don't need too much. It is fry light so it's not too bad for us but the pan is non-stick anyway but we just need a little tiny bit of oil in there to help the popcorn pop. So I have my popcorn here so as you can see it's kernels. I'll show you the bag that I've got here. Now this is great stuff. I don't know if any of you like the microwave popcorn that you can just pop in the microwave. Um, this whole bag, I've used some of it at home as well, was a pound. So it's really, really good value. And when we start cooking it, you'll see how well it brings out the popcorn. So with that, I'll just put that out the way there. Also with this, we know exactly what we're putting in it. We know exactly what is in the popcorn. When I was looking at some microwave popcorn in the shops, I noticed it was really, really high in salt and sugar. And also it got palm oil in, which isn't the greatest thing that we want to have in our food. So I'm just gonna check how hot my pan is. And that is getting there. So all you do with this, please remember to have an adult with you. All I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna pop this in now and make sure you leave the lid on. Because when I was doing this at home, I got really excited and kept wanting to look at it and see how it was going. And I kept taking the lid off and all of a sudden it started popping so I've got popcorn all over the house. So I'm just gonna leave that for a minute, turn it up slightly and I'm just gonna give it a little shake. There we go, to get the popcorn going. And I can feel it's nice and hot and you're gonna be able to start hearing it popping quite soon. So I'll just show you all the other ingredients I've got here. Just turn that up slightly. So I have got some cocoa powder here. This is the unsweetened sort. So there's no sugar in here, so it is actually cocoa powder from the cocoa bean. Cocoa powder is a fabulous, fabulous food. Really good for our mood, it's got lots of vitamins in and much better for us than the stuff that you get in the packet with lots of sugar in. So I'll just show you that there. I have got some cherries here. So there's a mixture of cherries, dried fruit, so raspberries, cranberries, all sorts of different things. So I'll just put that there, we're gonna mix that in. And I'm just going to, I know I said don't take the lid off, but I'm just going to give it a little, little, little bit of a stir. There we go. I can see it starting to pop already. I'm just going to turn it down. You'll start hearing it in a minute, which is the really exciting bit. Give the pan a shake. So again, please be careful when you're doing this at home. There we go. I don't know if you can hear that starting to pop. There we go. Looking good. And I'll show you that in a sec. So we do need two eggs. We are just going to use the egg whites in this today. So we are going to separate those in a moment. And then just a baking tray, just with some um, cupcakes in there. And I'm going to pop those in there. You do need to bake these. And unfortunately, we haven't got an oven here. So I'm going to show you the finished product and then let you go off and bake yours at home. So I'll just put that just there. And I can see my popcorn starting to pop. There we go. So I'm just going to give it a little stir. Again, please be really careful when you're doing this at home. There we go. So, let's turn it up a little bit and see what happens. There we go. So, I don't know if you can hear, it's actually starting to pop now and it's making a lovely sound. I'm just going to give it a little shake. Like I say, I am not going to take the lid off because I made that mistake at home and I had it all over the kitchen. So, back to the eggs. We have two eggs here. So I've got a metal bowl here because I just find it easier to crack. And if you want to separate your eggs, you can get lots of devices at home, but I just find this is an easy way to do it. So I've just gently tapped it on the side, opened up, and I'm just tipping the egg yolk backwards and forwards. There we go, so we're catching the egg yolk. 
in there. There we go. So I'm going to pop the egg yolk in there and feel free to save that because you can make some scramble eggs, use it for a glazing or something and it's handy to keep because we don't really want to waste any food here but we're just going to use the egg yolk as something different and the egg white is going to be our binding agent to keep this all together. So there we go, just pop that in there and put the eggshells in there and I'm just going to pop that out of the way. So I've got my egg white in here and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give my pan a little shake. I can see it all popping beautifully and the great thing about this is that you can actually see what's happening. You don't always get all the kernels popped at once. So I have actually brought in my colander here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of sieve it and try and get all the hard bits out because you imagine biting into a lovely cake and then biting into something really hard. That's the last thing we want. So I'm just going to check this now and see how it's getting on. It is popping away beautifully. So there we go. I don't know if you can hear that. And just while we're finishing that off, I'm going to give my eggs a little mix. So just got a fork here, got the egg white, and I'm just going to give it a mix up. And what you're aiming for is for this to go quite nice and fluffy. Really simple recipe because you basically, once our popcorn's done and cooled down slightly, we put it all into a bowl and just mix it all up. So there we go. Leave that there. There we go, have a look at this. And it's popping beautifully. So I think that is nearly done. You can usually tell because nothing else will pop and we don't want to burn it. So like I say, not everything always pops, but don't worry about that. So I'm going to just turn my pan off here. There we go. Just take the lid off and just be careful there. You can see the smoke coming out of it here. That's just a little bit of steam. Oh, there we go. I told you that would happen. So we've got the odd popcorn popping out of the pan there. So just remember to pick those up. So giving it a little stir. And you can see we haven't used as much. There we go. It's keeping going. Oh, yes. Might just pop the lid back on for a minute. See what I mean? There we go. So by letting the air in, that's made it pop even more. So, oh, that's a good sound. I like that sound. Just let it keep going. Go, go, go. There we go. And I'll get the rest of my ingredients ready. So as you can see, we have got some popcorn. There's quite a bit on the floor. I'll get that in a minute. So we have got our popcorn. So it looks exactly the same as the popcorn as you get at the cinema or you get in the bags. Now, a really good tip for this is, um, I don't know if you've got a paper bag at home or um, a roasting bag. If you put this in here, just the plain popcorn, you can add your own flavouring. So something like vanilla extract, a little bit of, um, some people really like spicy popcorn, so you can put some chilli in there. You can put your own amount of, a little bit of salt, a little bit of butter. But again, you know exactly what you're putting in your food. So you know what you're putting into your body, which is a really good thing. And like I say, when I was looking at the ingredients for popcorns earlier, there was a lot, a lot of sort of chemicals. There was the palm oil in there, which isn't great for the environment or ourselves. So in a little bag, put your own flavourings in, give it a shake, save yourself a fortune and also really good for our bodies as well. So I think now that popcorn has finished popping, but get ready when the lid comes off because I may get a shock. There we go. All looking good. Oh, no, spoke too soon. <laughs> this is the thing, just be really careful with this. But it is a really fun thing to make and it's really enjoyable as well. So um, as you can see, it's one of those foods that makes us smile when we're doing it. So I've just got my colander here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up my pan. I'll just unplug this here. And what I'm going to do is, like I say, with popcorn, we don't actually get all the kernels popping. So if you bite into one of those, it's not going to be the greatest for our teeth. So all I'm going to do is, let me just get my spoon here. I'm just going to tip it into my colander. Let's see how much I can get in. There we go. I'll get those other bits in a minute. And this is helping it cool down. So I've just got some bits in here and put this in here. And I'm just giving it a little shake. I am using my fingers here. I have washed my hands. And again, if you're doing this at home, just make sure you've got nice clean hands. It has totally cooled down now, so there's no problem with that at all. So giving it a little shake. And that means all the hard bits, the kernels, are falling to the bottom. So I've got my bowl. Give that a shake. And I'm just using my fingers here. And I'm just going to pop it in. So that's the good thing about cooking is we can use the fingers, we can get stuck in, we can feel what we're doing. And I'm just keeping an eye on what I'm putting in the bowl, making sure we're not getting those hard bits in. 
and my children loved it when I made these at home because they loved the cakes but also the birds in my back garden because I put all the old popping kernels on the table bird table and they ate them all up so that was absolutely great but if you're just making the popcorn for a snack can you see how nice that is really cheap filling food so instead of spending all that money and getting all those chemicals in we have got a really nice healthy snack so again in a bag give it a shake put your own flavors in and experiment with it but for the cakes we're going to make today i'll put that out the way now we have got our popcorn so nice and easy you can see how easy that was to make we have our dried fruit again i've got a mixture of cherries of cranberries of raisins there but you can put in whatever you want okay so i'm just going to throw that in i've got about two tablespoons of cocoa powder there again cocoa powder makes it lovely and chocolate chocolatey and delicious so i'm going to throw that in just going to give it a little shake big bowl's good so it doesn't come out there we go so giving it a shake and the last ingredient is our egg white so we have no sugar we have no honey we have nothing else in there apart from our egg white our cocoa powder and our dried fruit and popcorn and again the dried fruit is going to make it lovely and sweet so i'm just going to give that a mix together move those bowls out of the way you can see where our popcorns escaped over there move that out of the way and give it a little stir so you can see how that's all coming together and getting coated so what we want to do is we want to make all the popcorn nice and brown and we are going to pop these in the oven i haven't got an oven here today with me but i'm just going to show you take you through the basics and then when you are doing this at home if you set your oven to about 180 degrees quite a low temperature and these only need a couple of minutes in there but please ask an adult to help you with that or make sure there's somebody responsible around to help you with that just so you don't burn yourself okay so you can see how that's all beautiful and coated what the egg is doing it's going to help all the popcorn and, and the fruit all bind together so you might be thinking oh popcorn what's the you know that's meant to be not together but the egg makes it into a lovely solid cake you don't want to cook it for too long though because it goes a little bit hard so i've just got my baking tray here move that out of the way and i've just got some normal cupcakes cases just going to pop them in there we go and just pop that over there and i've just got my spoon here and all i'm doing is i'm just spooning it in now again we've got nice clean hands so if you want to just use your finger to push it in but it's coming off the spoon really nicely but don't worry about that because it will all stick together when you've got it in the oven there we go there we go and keep it nice and full there we go and just with the cupcake cases it's really good because you can just take them out and then they're not going to stick to the pan so you've got these again the recipes are all on the website so if you wanted to double up on this recipe or experiment with your own ideas with it, the popcorn is a really good base. Popcorn is a really nice healthy food. I know it gets a bit of a bad press, but that's just because of some of the toppings and the, the addings that people put in it, the syrup, the butter, the salt. But again, it's a really nice healthy filling snack if we don't add the sugary and salty bits to it. So, and you can see how much fun I had making it. So uh, yes, try it at home and see what you think. So I'm just going to leave that bit there, show you the finished result. So like I say, these need to be popped into the oven now. They look really tasty, a bit like Rice Krispie Cakes, but again, a lot more fibre, really good for us. So I'm going to pop these in the oven when I get home for about three or four minutes. You don't need too long. Just remember oven gloves, be really careful and make sure you've got a grown up around with you. So I hope you enjoy making those as much as I did. It was lots of fun with the popcorn going everywhere. So enjoy and get ready for the next recipe. Thank you very much. Bye bye.